typical Rust 2x1 is horrible. You go in and if by god the airlock is placed correctly, it's still a bad experience. You're greeted by boxes all over the place. You can't jump in because the boxes are in your way, and when you finally get in, everything's just thrown about haphazardously. You've got only two furnaces, you've got a blueprint table that's not being used correctly, you've got a workbench over here right next to your TC and your sleeping bags just thrown in here. It is ridiculous. What we're going to be doing today is going over how you can make a better two by one step by step. Each one of these steps is something that you can use on any base to make it better. So first off, let's go over here to this two by one that's been improved just a little bit and that would be in the airlock. If you notice, you got to jump up about a half wall to get into the airlock and the reason this is is you raise your airlock about a half wall and now all of a sudden you can use furnaces as your floor. What this means is you save a bunch of room in here for activities of course. So yeah, you raise your airlock, put your furnaces in there and you got three furnace spaces free of charge. Just make sure someone doesn't kill you as you're opening this door because you could lose some potentially good loot. Now moving on, you'll notice there is no pineapple furnace in the airlock and that's because this base is not swinging. What we do have however is a nice little garage door right here. So this would be the second tip which is split that two by one in half with a garage door. If some raider breaks through these two doors and gets into here maybe they don't have enough boom to get through this garage door and they just get access to in this case absolutely nothing. So if we open this garage door, we'll find another neat little thing that I did. And that would be put this triangle floor right here. This allows us to still have this TC back here, but now we've got a lot of extra room for storage. You can put two large boxes up here and a small box. And then down here, you've got room for another two large boxes and three small boxes and a fourth one that is going to stick through the door. So the raider, even if the door's closed, would be able to access this, but there's still three small boxes, two large boxes on that first floor that are inaccessible, and then your two large boxes and one small box over here are also inaccessible along with your TC. However, you're still able to access all of that perfectly fine. And if you don't like the aesthetics of having a small box sticking through your floor, it is pretty simple. Just pick it up. People complain in a lot of my videos, so I've got to put that in there. Now moving on to the next tip, because there's way more that you can do with the two by one than just this junk. We get this special little base here. Now you're going to be wondering what's so special about this, but I'm about to show you. So yeah, all these boxes are scattered all over because why not? But the first thing that I want to note here is I've conveniently placed everything inside of this one square. So if you're building in a very hectic area, maybe you only have time to get down a square. And that's enough. You can set up a basic base inside of one square. You put your TC here, your workbench here, you put a large box here, your furnace here, a small box there, and then your sleeping bag. And what you'll notice is when these garage doors are closed, not even the sleeping bag shows through. So here in a one square area, you get everything you need to start your journey for the wipe. In addition to that, this is also going to work with double doors because yeah, obviously if you're building a one by one base, you're not going to have a garage door researched unless it's not a blueprint wipe. Also, what you'll notice is I did something a little special with this blueprint table. Now this is not the case on console rust, but you can still do some interesting things. I'm going to show that later. But on the PC, you can actually just put two boxes right under your blueprint table, then a third little box right next to it. This is if you align everything correctly. So basically a blueprint table is free space that you can use. So put your blueprint table down first and then just throw your boxes in however you want. Also, I put three small boxes here because why not? But we do have better use of space in this last and final base, which would be the epitome of all rust two by ones. In my opinion, this is the best two by one that you can build in rust. So let's go in first. You jump in here, you get your three furnaces down below in the airlock. They're all moved outside. When you are done with them, you take all your loot inside. Don't leave stuff in here. 
But yeah, you've got three furnaces right here that you can use. Next up, we open this door and we walk into an extremely spacious square. You've got room for two sleeping bags. You've got your workbench right here. You've got your blueprint tables here. Then you've got your large box right here and your small box here. And if you open up this door, you're gonna notice that we put in this triangle floor. And then we've got two large boxes, a small box up top. And down below, we've got that classic two large box three small box layout with the TC in the back. And that, in my opinion, is the perfect Rust 2x1. Yeah, hopefully you can use some of these tips and tricks in your next build. Let me know down below in the comments why your base is better. Until next time, peace.